in this candid bacon. So I'm gonna just try to get a massive, right? I don't know what's going on either. Welcome back to Stadium Meets, you guys. Today, I am taking you guys to Coors Field, home to the Rockies in Denver, Colorado. You guys know the drill. I take you behind the scenes to show you the fans, the atmosphere, but most importantly, the food. Let's go. Stadium Eats! <laughs> And I have one thing to say, Rocky Mountain Oysters. Somebody's warned me about it. I'm taking on that challenge today, so it's gonna be very interesting today. But it's gonna be fun, fan, food, excitement. Let's go. But first things first, I need to look the part. So I'm headed over to the team store to get geared up. I think this is the one. Okay, one more thing before I start the food tour. I have to check in with a local celebrity. Hi, how's it going? We're matching today. Purple, purple, looking good. Shake your head, yes or no. Have you ever had Rocky Mountain oysters before? You have. Are, did you like them? Yes or no? Oh, yummy, they were good. Okay, so what's your victory dance? When you're having a good time at the stadium and you love watching, the, oh, show me, yeah, what, what, oh, okay. Oh, you're, he's stretching, he's warming up, oh, yeah, oh, wait, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He just lost his head. You just turned your head around. Let me try, let me try. No, it doesn't work for me. It is okay, okay. So nice to meet you. I can't wait to eat all the food. And you were great. Let's just hug it out. Oh, this is so nice. We're best friends. All right, you guys, our very first stop of the day. We are here at Blake Street Grill. And today I'm going to be trying Denver, Colorado's delicacy. They call it a delicacy. And what that delicacy is, are Rocky Mountain Oysters. For those of you that don't know what Rocky Mountain Oysters are, because I certainly didn't, I was like, oh, oysters from the mountains? Interesting, I, I would love to try that, but no. Rocky Mountain Oysters in Denver, Colorado are actually bull testicles. I've always said in my career that I'll try something at least once. So I really sat and I thought about it for a second. I'm like, am I gonna do this on camera? Am I going to try bull testicles? The answer is yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do it for you. So here we have bull testicles, and what they do is they fry and batter them. They cut them in very thin slices, and then um, they pair it with some cocktail sauce and some french fries. I'm just talking a lot because I'm really trying to just uh, delay the inevitable. Let's go for a big one, because go big or go home. Can I get a round of applause really quick to warm me up? Okay, here we go, all right. Actually, they're not bad. It kind of tastes like a very thinly sliced chicken. Like it's like a chicken strip, but in a different form because they made me try this. I think it would only be right to get some of my other crew members in here to try it with me to get their feedback. Mark, come on in here. They're not that bad. I'll take your word for it. Sound guy Drew? Ah, oh, perfect. Sharing is caring. And if I have to eat full testicles, so do you guys. Dive in, let me know what you think and what, what are you tasting when you eat them? Okay, so Drew's from Denver, so you probably have these before, right? Okay, okay. I have, I have. It reminds me of Red Bull. Yeah, it just tastes like fried something. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not bad, it's good. I don't taste that still in this. <laughs> have you, <laughs> never mind, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not really tasting much from like the actual bull testicle, but like the batter I think is what's giving the most flavor, honestly. But again, um, not bad. I think I really scared myself for no reason. And apparently people come here to the stadium to just order this alone. So again, when in Denver, try their delicacy. Not that bad. And hey, you guys, I did it and I survived. And that is how you start off a tour at the stadium. Okay, so we're still here at Blake Street Grill and they have a bunch of iconic options here at this station. And one of the iconic options here that people absolutely love is their Rocky Dog. So we have a foot long dog massive it's huge we have grilled onions red peppers green peppers and sauerkraut and then I added some ketchup on here 
This is a very generous sized hot dog and then they put all the toppings on there. They fill it up. So if you get this, you're gonna be full and you're gonna be satisfied. And again, this is something that everybody loves here. It's iconic and they sell this more than anything else in the stadium. So of course we had to try it. Gotta make sure I get a good bite to y'all. Get a little bit of everything. The sauerkraut, grilled onions, red peppers, green peppers, all of it. There we go. There's nothing like a classic hot dog at a baseball game. Kind of makes you feel somewhat healthier when you have all the grilled onions and peppers on there, but honestly, it has such bold flavors. It's delicious. And again, you're getting a really nice big hot dog with nice fresh ingredients on top. I mean, you can't go wrong with a hot dog at a baseball game. Next up, the Helton Burger. All right, so we are at the Helton Burger Shack and we are going to be trying the Helton Burger. So a little bit of background with this. It took 20 different combinations to get to this exact burger. And Todd Helton himself picked this exact burger. So I'm very excited. If they had 20 different ones and this is what they landed on, that means it's gotta be good, okay? And look how juicy this looks. Let's just like take a moment to look how beautiful it is. It's on a brioche bun. Cheers to you, Todd Helton. I'm really excited to try your burger. Let's go. So this is a juicy burger. I'm thinking that their secret sauce is kind of similar to a Thousand Island. It has a really good flavor. I love that there's the chopped onions in there, which makes just for me the perfect burger. And then they have these thick slices of crunchy pickles that I did not take a bite of. So I'm gonna go ahead and take another bite so I could get the whole complete bite there. Mm. This is a good classic burger that you could get here at the ballpark. The sauce is on point. It's juicy, it's delicious. All in all, this is great. And also the best part about this burger is too that portions of the cells go to charity as well. So I love that they do that. Todd, you did your thing. I already had some french fries earlier with the Rocky Mountain oysters, so I went ahead and decided to get some onion rings because you need a side with a burger. Look how crispy these look. And they're like the perfect size. These are big onion rings. Big onion rings, they're really battered perfectly. Oh, there's gonna be a big crunch with this. I could already hear it. You hear that? Oh yeah. Perfectly battered onion rings. You can't go wrong. This is how you do it. You know what I need now? A dessert. And nothing goes better with a burger and some onion rings than a shake. Fit for a king. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Elvis shake. It is a shake made for a king. As you guys know, Elvis loved his PB&J, so they wanted to go ahead and make this shake cater to him. So we have candied bacon, just, you know, as a garnish, peanut butter drip on top, Cracker Jacks, and then banana ice cream inside. So they call this their Dare to Pair initiative. They wanted to get all these crazy, bold flavors and put it into one delicious dessert. And I think, I haven't even tried it yet. I know this thing is going to be incredible. I was standing here for just like 10 seconds holding this. Every single person stops by and breaks their neck to look at it because it's just so beautiful. See, he's looking good. See what I'm saying? Woo! That is a thick milkshake. <laughs> Which I appreciate because there's nothing worse than like a runny milkshake, right? But that is thick. That is a thick banana milkshake, which is great. Let's add all of these amazing flavors that we have on top. Again, peanut butter, caramel popcorn, and this candied bacon. So I'm going to just try to get a massive, right? I don't know what's going on either. I'm going to make a mess, but that's okay. Boom. And you got to get the bite of the bacon with it. Oh, crap. You know what? Okay, here. Holy moly. Are you kidding me? This is delightful. Holy moly, this is so good. Uh, insider tip, if you eat this, don't try to be cute, don't try to be pretty. Just take a whole, all of the flavors all at once. I was trying to be cute, take a sip of it first. No, you want the ice cream, you want the popcorn, you want the peanut butter, and you want that candied bacon. It's salty, which is so nice. So you have the saltiness from the candied bacon, and then you have the sweet, thick banana ice cream within the nice peanut butter drizzle on top. Excuse me while I transport to heaven one more time. This is ridiculous. Another interesting fact, Elvis himself flew all the way from Graceland all the way here to Denver to get a peanut butter and bacon sandwich. And that's what inspired this Elvis. Thank you. I normally don't finish dessert. I normally share with the crew, but this one I might have to finish. Just give me a minute to myself.
Before we head to our next stop, I met with Stadium Eats' smallest fan. So I just ran into Delicious number one fan. This is Garrett, everybody. Howdy. Oh my gosh, are you here hanging out at the yep. game? Are you excited? I am so excited. So we're, as you know, Delish is all about eating really great food oh, at the yeah. ballpark. So you come here often, I'm yep. assuming? Yep, pretty often. Okay, what is your favorite thing to eat at the stadium? Probably the Helton Burger. Ooh, I just had that. So very good. Yeah, it's like juicy and that secret sauce. Oh yeah, the secret sauce is very good. What do you think the secret sauce is? Ketchup and mayonnaise. I know the secret to the secret sauce. <laughs> I think you should be doing the food review. I thought it was a Thousand Island, but I think you're right. Mayo and ketchup. Mayo and ketchup. Let's do a little high five. Backside. Oh. There we go. Oh, wait, oh. Wait, okay. Front, you turn. And I got you back. Yeah. yeah awesome. There we go. Scared everybody. You heard it first. He knows the secret to the secret sauce. All right, I'm very excited about this. Biker Jim is very famous in the food world. I have seen him on every food channel, travel show. Anthony Bourdain has tried these hot dogs before, so I am ecstatic. All right, what we have is the elk jalapeno cheddar brat. And as you can see, there's caramelized onions, a really generous portion of cream cheese. We have nice pickles, and then we have the health dog right there. And the really cool thing is when you go into his restaurant, he's known for these crazy different flavor dogs. Like there's a rattlesnake one too, which I'm kind of upset I'm not trying that one today, but I'm excited about this. So let's dive in. This is awesome there's so much spice to this dog it like packs a really nice powerful bunch the type right when you bite into it the spices kind of explode all over the place i didn't know where the jalapeno cheddar was going to be but it's actually inside of the dog so not only are you getting the spices from the actual hot dog but you're also getting just gushes of jalapeno cheddar that's coming out as well and then you have the nice cream cheese on the side that really balances out that spiciness and then the caramelized onions on top of there, and then the crunchy pickles. I didn't know I needed all these things in one, but honestly, this is fantastic. So much so, I want to take another bite, even though I know I can't, <laughs> but I'm going to. I'm a happy girl. I'm so happy right now, between that milkshake and now this. The only thing that really could top it off is a beer, so I think it's time to hit the brewery and try the Blue Moon. Next up, the Sandlot, but first, I need to practice my swing. Okay, how do you guys think I'm gonna do? Let's just start off with that. Oh man, terrible. Okay, so we can only go up from here. They said I was gonna do terrible, but uh, you know, I'm an athlete, what can I say? Okay, so this is the real deal. <laughs> Wait, okay, this I'm not as familiar with. Okay, so where do you stand? Yeah. Like, like, kind of like that? <laughs> okay, cool, be real. What's a baseball game without a nice, cold, crisp beer? So we're here in the Sandlot Brewery, and an interesting fact is, this baseball stadium is the first ever baseball stadium to have a brewery in it. So the stadium opened in 1995 and the brewery opened with it, which I think is insane. Their copper brew kettles are massive. They kind of gave me the behind the scenes and saw you know, how they brew their beer here. They're huge. Mm. Holy hell. I'm starting off with a blue moon, but here at the stadium, they know this as the belly slide width. So cheers to all of you, and bottoms up. Fun fact for me, Blue Moon is actually one of my favorite beers. I always tell my friends that don't like to drink beer, it's a nice entryway into the beer world. But uh, yeah, it's nice, crisp, it's a wheat beer, so it's delicious. Throw some oranges in there and you're good to go. As someone who loves Blue Moon, I love that Blue Moon was actually created and crafted here. So we know it as a Blue Moon, but people here at the stadium know this as the Belly Slide Wit because it was created and crafted right here in this brewery, which I think is insane. Blue Moon originated right where I'm standing. So now it's time for tacos. We're about to head over to Gringo's Tacos. Let's go. Okay, 
Okay, so we're here at Gringo's and I'm about to try their chupacabra taco. I think it's kind of interesting having a taco at a stadium. I just don't put the two together. So I, I love a great taco and carnita tacos are delicious. This is braised carnitas in tequila and mango. On top we have corn, mangoes of course, cilantro, red pickled onions, cotilla cheese, and then a jalapeno crema. And boy oh boy do they stuff these tacos to the rim. Take one bite, you're getting everything. Mm -hmm. Woo! The carnitas is super tender and juicy. And then you have that sweet, fresh mango on top. Mixed with the sweet and saltiness of the meat, you're getting fresh, nice ingredients on top. And yes, they're small tacos, but they stuff them with everything, so you're getting your money's worth. Really good, fresh, juicy. And if you like tacos and you want to eat them at a stadium, you should get these. All right, now it's time for a pretzel, but with a twist. Okay, so we're here at Tornado, appropriately named because their pretzel dough has a little bit of a twist. It has a little bit of a spin and they look incredible. So they have three different flavors. They have cinnamon, butter, and Parmesan. I kind of need a little bit of sugar to like get this excitement going. So I went ahead and started off with their cinnamon Tornado. You guys, this thing, first of all, it's so warm. It just came out of the oven. And if you look at it, it's just flaky and doughy and buttery and dusted perfectly with cinnamon. The moment of truth. So good. I don't know why they call this a pretzel, technically, because this dough is super doughy and sweet. You can taste the butter just like all throughout the dough. They dust it perfectly with cinnamon. And what I love the most is that it is hot. It's warm, ooey gooey, and sweet. It's perfect. Why don't we have these in every stadium? And what I love too, the price. It's amazing. Five dollars, do you see how big this is? And if you're not greedy like me, you can just break it off like this and share it with a friend. If you're feeling generous, I guess I can share. Does anybody want a piece? Go ahead. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Do you like the piece? What do you think of it? It's delicious. Perfect. It's absolutely amazing. You know, when I start dancing, I get really happy. Wow, that's good. I say we keep this dessert train going. Let's head over to Berry Kebabs. Game time, baby. Let's go. Woo. Sorry to bother you. Excuse me. Hi, I'm filming a show and I saw your hair and I was like, holy crap. Rocky. Rocky's like, you go all out. Yeah, let's go, Rockies. Backside. Missed it. High five. High five. Down there. Yeah. Woo. Go, Rockies. The little baby. Start them out while they're young. The game is about to start. The stands are filling up. It's crowded in here. The energy's high. Belly is not full yet. It's time to keep eating and keep going and having fun at the baseball game. Woo! Okay, so we are now at Berry Kebabs and I have never craved fresh fruit more than I have right now at this baseball stadium. You guys, look. Woo! It looks so good, I can't wait to try it. This is a work of art. It is beautiful, it is stunning. I honestly don't even know if I should eat it. It's that beautiful, I don't wanna ruin it. If you guys could just see how they handcraft this and how they make it, it honestly is so whimsical. I was watching them kind of put the chocolate and drizzle it all over the strawberries and brownies, and I think I got hypnotized. I was just standing there and looking at it, and I was like, wow. That is beautiful. So then you have the white and chocolate drizzle all on top of it. Truly, it's beautiful. What I love about this is that you're mixing a really nice chocolate brownie with a nice fresh fruit right there. And I mean, it's, it's the perfect ballpark treat, the way that they go ahead and prepare it. You could be walking around the entire stadium just like this and eating your kebab. Let's start off with the strawberry here. Ah, oh, see, just pick it off and you go, that's it. I mean, you guys, fresh strawberry with white and chocolate drizzle. There's no complaints. It's delicious. And then the brownie. Oh, look at that. And that's a lot. That's a, that's a big portion right there. And you get two of them. Let's take a bite. The brownie is chewy and gooey. 
and it's also cold. You see a lot of their kebabs, they are sitting there, but they also put them in the refrigerator, so you're not getting room temperature strawberries or room temperature brownies. They're refrigerated, so it's a cold, fresh strawberry and a cold, fresh brownie, which I love. And you know what, if brownies and strawberries aren't your jam, and if they're not, I don't understand you, they have a whole cheesecake on a kebab for you too. Again, the perfect stadium food. You're getting a really nice dessert and you can walk around and not get messy. You don't even have to pull it off like I did. You can eat it off the kebab like this. Right, so we're outside of gluten friendly. The name says it all. Anything that you get from here is gluten free. I decided to get a quesadilla and a nice cold beer because it's been a long day. And as you guys know, it gets hot out here in Denver. So I needed something to cool myself down with. But I think that's amazing that you come to the stadium and if you have intolerances, you could come here and get everything gluten free. This quesadilla looks incredible. It's a really great portion. They don't give you a little blob of sour cream. No, they pop on a bunch of sour cream for you. And then as you can see, a nice portion of pico de gallo as well. Okay, here we go. I think what's interesting about this, normally when I get a cheese quesadilla, they don't put peppers in it. So I think that's a really nice twist that you have peppers and cheese inside of the actual tortilla, which is nice. What I love too is that the onions are sprinkled out throughout the whole entire quesadilla. So every bite that you're taking, you're getting those peppers, you're getting those onions, and then you're getting a lot of cheese too. The portions are really great. Big lob of sour cream, lots of onions, lots of cheese, really delicious. And what I also love is that this is the very first stadium that has ever had a stand that is completely gluten free. I think it's really important to give people options. Not only do they have a stand that's completely gluten free, that means they also have beers that are gluten free, which I need right now. Thank you so much. I actually really need that, that's nice. What's awesome about this, it's a local brewery and all they brew are gluten-free beers, which is awesome. There needs to be more out there for vegans, but if you guys have intolerances and you need gluten-free, gluten-friendly has your back. I'm happy. This is great. Let's keep the party going upstairs. headed up to the Jack Daniels Terrace and the Coorsville team got me this entire cabana and I have it all to myself. It's nice and all, but it's, it's better when you enjoy it with friends. So uh, Mark, Drew, Caitlin, come on in. We're gonna take a load off and have some drinks. Oh, the drinks, the food. Oh, thank you guys. This is, this is living life. It's not bad. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh. <laughs> uh, Marco. I'm so sorry, I wish that you could sit and hang with us, but we do need someone to film this review. Oh no, but when, when I'm done, I'll make this quick so you can come and hang out with us. I love that the boom mic's right here. This is amazing. We have a vodka lemonade here and a Rocky souvenir glass, which I love. Ready, three, two, one, cheers. I wish you had a drink. It's okay, I'm on the call. Really good, nice and refreshing. It's the perfect oh, yeah. cocktail. How jealous are you right now? Um, what I think is awesome about this deck is that you can see it's very lively. There's so many people here. You have the Rocky Mountains in the background, so the backdrop is just stunning. This is kind of the place to be in the stadium if you want to have a good time and turn up. What I have in my hands here are these loaded tater tots, which look incredible. On top of them are cheese, cotija cheese, cilantro. We have a crema here. They're piled high with just some tater tots. And then the cool thing about that too is if you finish it all, because they give you such a large portion, you get to take this amazing souvenir hat home with you, which I think is awesome. When you're at a stadium, sometimes you just want that food that you really want to overindulge in. This is that, okay? Y yeah, you're gonna go all in and all out when you're eating this thing. Uh, cheers. This is the kind of snack that you want when you're gonna be drinking all the drinks, you know what I mean? That's what's gonna be soaking up the alcohol. Okay, as much as I love this private cabana, we could come back to it. Let's go ahead and take a walk around, meet some people, yeah. check out the views. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. So this is obviously the place where people like to go party, have their cocktails and enjoy the game. The terrace is actually so popular that they sell standalone tickets. So if you actually don't wanna sit in the stadium, you can purchase just a ticket to stand up here and watch the game. That's how much people love this area. So let's go head upstairs, see who we can find, what's going on. You get this incredible view of the city. Look at this, it's amazing. 
It's open air, and if you look there, look at the, the, the skyline of all the mountains. Honestly, you cannot beat this view. It is insane. As much as I do want to be in the stands right now watching the baseball game, I love this. And look at the energy! Heck yeah! I love it! Best fans ever, all right? We're about to do the wave. Three, two, one, go! And bring it back, bring it back! Okay, who has the best fans in the league? You guys, this is where you need to be. The Jack Daniels Terrace, right here. When you walk in through here, oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. You're in the center of the entire bar. Everybody here is here to have a good time, watch the game, and have some alcohol. Take some shots, drink some beers, have a cocktail, turn up, do a little headbang. It all goes down right up here at the Jack Daniels Terrace. As much as I want to keep partying, Coors Field's executive chef Jason is waiting for me, so let's go ahead and meet him at the Mountain Ranch Club. Okay, so we are here with the executive chef, Jason. How are you? I'm fantastic, how are you? I'm doing so good because I've already tried some of your really great items here at the stadium. I really wanted to briefly talk about the Elvis Shea because, I mean, that's a staple here. So we kind of phrase it as dare to pair. So dare what, to pair. what kind of items would never go together? We were thinking about Elvis and how he loved peanut butter and pickle and banana and bacon sandwiches. And I said to myself, I don't really know how to do that. Mm -hmm. And I thought about it, and so banana ice cream, peanut butter sauce, Cracker Jacks for crunch, candied bacon, and it just worked. And I remember my bosses, the powers that be here, were like, <laughs> you're crazy. And I was like, yeah, that's why you hired me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, kind of. And when they tasted it, it was a slam dunk. Uh. Or wait a minute, a grand slam. We're in See what you did there, high five with that one. So you stopped at the pickles. The pickles didn't make the cut? No, it just was too funky, even if we fried them. Yeah. yeah. But speaking of fried things, how were the Rocky Mountain oysters? Will I be eating them every day? Probably not, but they weren't that bad. It's one of those flavors where you kind of, right. you have it when you're here, but it's probably not something you seek out every day. But it is part of the culture here. It's part of the history, the food history here at Coors Field. Mm -hmm. We've been doing it since the doors opened in 93. So it's really important to us that people ex share that experience, like the Rocky Dog, like the Rocky Broad. Well, anyway, thank you so much. Pleasure. I've had such a great time thus far. I cannot wait to try more. Please come. And I know we're going to eat some um, really great food that you have prepared for me a little bit later, right? Oh, absolutely. You have no idea what's coming for you. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. I appreciate it. A little elbow. Oh, well. Okay, yep, there we go. Wait, other uh, foot. This one? This one. Okay. Boom, boom. 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 And we're out. Okay. <laughs> Where am I right now? Am I at a baseball game or am I at a fine dining restaurant? Do you guys see this food? It looks incredible this is insane and that could only mean that we are on a premium level so we are here at the mountain ranch clubhouse where apparently they're making my best dreams come true with this meal now i've had a lot of food today but my stomach all of a sudden is like jackie i'm empty feed me because this food looks incredible so what we have right here are the rocky mountain surf and turf plate we have a two pound porterhouse steak and we have not a bowl of seafood but a whole entire pot a seafood because there's so much in this thing and my absolute favorite if we could zoom in here Marco because I think this right here just deserves a major highlight this beautiful coconut shrimp which I, I have actually now that I think about it I have not had coconut shrimp at all in this series where do I even begin I'm so happy this looks incredible just look how it glistens in the light beautiful 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 let's go ahead and cut into this thing look at that that's what I'm talking about cheers I mean, um, premium, a premium. I'm a VIP now. My, my taste buds now are VIP, and I refuse to eat anything but steak now when I go to stadiums. This is delicious, it's so incredible, but what my heart really desires is this coconut shrimp. So I'm gonna wash that down with some wine, really quick. Must be nice to be a VIP. By the way, this is their surf and turf, so it's meant to share with two people. If you wanna eat it all by yourself, go for it. If that's what you wanna do, live your best life but it's meant for you to share it with someone else and pair it with a nice bottle of wine. All right, 
the moment I have been waiting for. Let's go ahead and dive in and put some lemon on this first. Here goes nothing. That's how you do coconut shrimp. I can tell that they make this in-house. The coconut is fresh. When I took a bite into it, it's so crispy. The flavors are so bold. I love coconut shrimp, and this is how you do coconut shrimp. So good, I love that they completely cover it with all those coconut flakes. The coconut is definitely coming through, and I love the texture of it. It's crispy, it's crunchy, and you get all those nice coconut flakes. I love this so much, like, I, I need to talk to the chef. Chef Jason. Yes, ma'am. Here is the man of how the hour. You? How are you? Come Good. in. Good. How Hi. are you? I'm so great. How could I not be great? First of all, when people go to stadiums, they have no idea that they can even access this type of food. So in my mind, if you're coming to Colorado, you need a good piece of meat. But also, being from the East Coast, where I'm from, you need good seafood, too. We're a mile high. We do it Rocky Mountain style, baby. The calamari is from Maryland, where I'm from originally. We do the coconut shrimp in-house. Everything was fantastic, but I actually didn't get into the calamari yet. So should we try it together? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, wait, wait, we have to put some you lemon go on first. first. Let me Ladies put lemon first. all over it. There Are you, you okay with lemon? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Just, you, I you prefer gotta ask. Okay. You go cocktail. Dunk. Dunk. And we'll do air cheers. Air cheers. Boop. Right? Incredible. That's what it's all about. Thank you so much. No, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming. Welcome to our house. You're welcome anytime. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. And you guys, as if this wasn't the cherry on top of the day, we're now going to go watch the rest of the game in a suite because Denver, Colorado loves us and the team here is amazing. They gave us an entire suite to watch the game. So without further ado, it's time to go. I'm beat. You know, I think it's time for me just to relax in my luxury suite provided by the team here at Coors Field and Aramark. I have all of this incredible food all to myself and the team. Do you see this food? This is insane. And not only that, I have all of this leg room to watch the incredible game. I'm behind home plate, the best view in the stadium. Wow, you guys, today was incredible. Let me know in the comments below what you were most excited to see at the stadium and which stadium should we visit next. Now it's just time for me to, I don't know, oh, it's such a tough job, sit down and watch the game. What an incredible experience. Again, I want to say a huge thank you to Greg, the entire Rockies team, also everybody here at Coors Field who made this happen, and of course Aramark as well. And you guys, the fans, for watching, and now it's time to watch the game. Thanks for watching Stadium Meets. See you next time. I'm gonna get so much for how I'm saying carnitas. Beautiful chocolate brownies, and then we have a white chocolate. Do y'all see this little nap that is like, <laughs> the nap is trying to get to my dessert. Why not? Why not just? Welcome to our house, Coors Field, your home, anytime you want. No, 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 but I'm welcome anytime. Oh, you're welcome anytime here at Coors Field. You, you heard it here, folks, you guys. That means that I can come back here anytime with the VIP treatment? Yes, ma'am, anytime. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.